Hi everybody, it's me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy, reading the language of letting go by Melody Beatty. Okay, we are reading, ooh, right, okay, grief and action, so grief, so grief is a, Grief is a strange thing. It can come out of nowhere. You can start to grieve something that happened 10 years ago. You can grieve the loss of a job. You can grieve the loss of a, um, a, a dream. You can grieve the loss of uh, any loss. Any loss, basically, is my point. That you can, we grieve. We grieve at, 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 at different levels, you know, and, and at different times, at different levels. So um, it can come out of nowhere. And grief is, is encompassed in... Um, or what's encompassed in grief is anger and denial and um, what are the other ones? Yeah, there's like five different things that are all under grief that happen to us, uh, feelings that come up and, and experiences that we have through grief. So um, grief is happening all the time, just at different levels. So it's a really good um, thing to look into so that we can feel it, so we can grieve um, in a healthy way and appropriately and for ourselves so that we can let it all go so that we can move on to the next thing. Um, if we suppress the grief and we don't feel all those things, then um, it's going to surface in other ways and it'll come out in, in it misdirected. Okay, so grief and action, November 17th. Trust in God and do something do something. Action, action. All recovery is an action-based. Our, our changes that we make for ourselves are action-based. We can't think, oh, I'm going to start working out. Oh, I need to lose weight. Oh, I need to uh, get a new job and then not take action. Then what's the point? It's about action, action, action. And we got to do that for ourselves. And we pray uh, to a higher power or to something outside of ourselves for help. But then we, we, t we take the action that we receive. That The message from the message we receive, we take action on that. Okay? So grief and action, trust in God and do something. It's important to let ourselves grieve as a passage between yesterday and tomorrow. We can even grieve yesterdays. <laughs> but we do not have to be controlled unduly by our grief or our pain. There are times when we have grieved, surrendered to the, to the heaviness, tiredness, and weariness of a, circumstances, of, circ of a circumstance long enough. Okay, I've grieved this long enough. It's time to let it go. Um, it becomes time to break out. It comes time to take it. It comes time. It comes time to take action. We will know when it's time to take a break to, no, sorry, we will know when it's time to break the routine of grieving. There will be signs. Okay, it's time to let this go. You'll know. And, and stillness and meditation is important for these things so that we can tap into, into our true self, our true knowing, our, our, our true self. Um, and then, and when we do that, then we'll know, oh, you know what? It's time for me to let this go. I just went through this, um, in the last, what happened, Gordy? What happened, baby? Did something bite you? What happened? Gordy just did a little, like, mm -hmm. like he was in pain, but he's just on the couch. So I'm worried something just bit him, like a little bug is on there or something. What happened? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to, uh, let that go right now. <laughs> um... Yeah, so yeah, uh, oh yeah, just recently I did a special ceremony for my mom and I was like another layer of my mom and that was hard for me because I was so young when she died and I didn't get to process it, even start beginning the process of grieving until I was 30. So it was so much was pushed down and, and so much had, I had to dig and dig, 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 dig away all the stuff I had pushed on top of it so I could get to the grief. So it's still a process for me. Um, so yeah, uh, we will know when it's time to take to, to break the routine of grieving, there will be signs within and around us. We will become tired of the heaviness, tired of dragging that old ball and chain around, that grief around. An ideal world will occur. An opportunity will present itself. We may think, nope, too much effort, but do it anyway. Try something. Reach out. Stretch. Yeah. I don't know if she's ever mentioned stretch. I am a huge advocate for stretching. Stretching is miraculous. Like an hour stretch session with yourself can be like a game changer. It can take you so out of your mind, into your body, notice the tension where you're holding it and be able to like let go physically. And then the mental stuff just goes away. It's amazing. So stretch, <laughs> do something unusual, something different, something special. A new activity may help trigger the transformation process. Stay up two hours later than usual. Make an appointment to do something for yourself that is different from what you usually do. Visit someone you haven't seen in years. Do something to encourage and help the new energy coming your way. Do something. Take some action. 
We may not feel like breaking out of grief. It may feel safer. Something's got Gordy. It may feel safer, easier to remain in our cocoon, but begin pushing out anyway. That butterfly has to go through pain or it has to struggle a little bit to break out of that cocoon. Test the walls of your cocoon. Push, push a little harder. It may be time to emerge. Here's your prayer for today. Today I will trust God and the process, but I will also take action to help myself feel better. Amen. That's all. I'm really I'm like thinking about my dog right now. Something God is bomb, I think. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Namaste.